So this week we are going to talk about the API security. Uh, I'm going to demo uh, a new tool uh, which you can use to scan the APIs uh, within the Postman itself. And of course, uh, they also have other integration. This is a totally free uh, community version, so you can use it as many times as you want. There are no restrictions. Uh, so before we get started, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. It's just gonna take one second uh, for the YouTube algorithm. And let's get into it. So uh, Pint is an API security solution, as you can see here, which generates automated security tests based on your existing functional, oh, sorry, functional test collections. Simply input your functional test collection, name into your pin collection, and run the API security collection in your workspace. So I'm gonna show you how the demo, how it's gonna work. Uh, so simple thing is you, uh, like you, know, you just need the collection ID, uh, you can import that into the Pint, and, and then it's gonna work. Uh, good thing is it does uh, the full OAS top 10 scan. Uh, I'm going to talk about much more benefits of using this tool over the others uh, after we are done with the demo. Uh, so like you know you can compare uh, between the other tools that you have been using. There are very few prerequisites so of course uh, like you know if you have the Postman app uh, that's great you can download from there. You need the Docker engine uh, which I have it running already. And then uh, there are like you know some uh, some steps on how do you start the Docker container, uh, and then how do you run the scan. So before we get into uh, the nitty gritty and the details of the uh, of, of like you know the benefits and everything, uh, let me show you one other thing why you should be uh, like you know uh, using Punt and 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 especially uh, for the developers. So there are uh, this is of course like you know it's an effortless security testing, but they also have this badge program. So uh, once you follow certain criteria, which is already described here. Uh, early adopter and ambassador if you do this uh, of course it's like you know uh, one more feather in your in your uh, professional career uh, you can put it on the LinkedIn other social media and of course you can attract more uh, more recruiters uh, with these badges so uh, of course like you know you have some when you have the security knowledge of course you have some added advantage over just being a developer so this is going to be a big 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 success uh, if you uh, if you're looking to transition your role from from the developer to like you know security focused or we call it as a security champion as well so let's go go back to the postman uh, so first thing what we need to do is uh, so i have already uh, have vulnerable api running so what you need to do you just go here uh, once you open this up and then click on the edit here you will be able to see uh, doo -doo -doo. you go here collection id so you copy it now go back here in our tool and where it says variable uh, your collection put this in collection put in what you can do is you can just simply hit the run button which is going to start the scan of course uh, you're gonna choose how to run your collection you wanna run it manually schedule or automate run via CLI so you can also do that here you can uh, see which order the test is going to run as you can see uh, the OAS top 10 is all managed here if you want to run a quicker scan of course it, this this scan is anyway quicker but if you want to like you know have the results in even within like you know a few seconds and and you only want certain uh, aspect of the, or a certain part of the OAS top 10 to be tested then you can also uncheck and check certain things uh, right now we want to scan everything so I'm just gonna keep everything as is and hit the run again now the scan is running uh, until then let's let's talk about some of the benefits uh, like you know uh, once the scan is finished you will see the summary and everything uh, you can also actually see the click on the view results and, and see all the results here but we'll we'll let the scan complete and then we'll come back on the screen and discuss about the results now talking about the benefits uh, so one thing uh, I've always been advocate about like you know shifting left on the security uh, because in our industry, if you see uh, in any organization, especially product-based organization, we have like, you know, hundreds and thousands of developers and we only have like one or two security engineers supporting them, which is very like, you know, easy way of managing security, but not the efficient. So shift left is always going to help. So now security is not just owned by the security engineer but we also want our developers security champions guardians to also own the security and this is a very decent step like you know using this tool because 
developers are, are using postman and functional testers are using this on a day-to-day -day life they just need to integrate this and run the security scan themselves uh and then easily like you know they can find some security box before even like you know it reaches to the security uh, gate and then they can resolve it so it there is less work to do for the security engineers uh, this is a free solution as I said so uh, as many time as you want you can run uh, for as many APIs etc so uh, the onboarding is also easy it will not take more than a few minutes to set it up uh, as long as you just follow the prerequisite there are actually couple ways you can do this there is also result which you can follow and, and onboard your APIs into it. Uh, Integration like Postman is very popular tool and uh, just like Postman they also offer other integrations so you can easily do this uh, and I feel like this is all the other security testing uh, API security testing that we do are not like you know gray box Th those are more like black box because you don't know what the traffic is you don't know what the functionality or what the use case on the API is suppose if you are a QA or if you have a testing team who is running the functional test that means we already have some sample data on it and based on using this data uh, paint is going to uh, like you know create their own test cases which is quite decent because now you are not just shooting the arrow in the blind you you actually know what this api is supposed to do and that's how it's actually testing uh, the api so you get a better result in a lesser time so uh, that's why i like this tool better OWASP top 10 coverage, uh, uh, top 10 itself is huge, uh, like you know there are many debates on whether top 10 covers everything or not but if you go for example for instance like you know, with an injection, injection itself covers like you know 10 types of injection, uh, I think it, it somewhat map matches to the OWASP ASVS as well. So uh, if it covers the top 10, that's a, that's a good part of it. Uh, you do not expect like, you know, developers to complete everything, but as long as they can scan their APIs, again, some basic vulnerabilities, for example, we are missing authentication or some authorization or some input validation, if they can cover at least this part of it, just imagine how, like, you know, how much big of a help that would be for any AppSec engineer. And also you will, as a developer, you will get major like you know good knowledge about what the security is all about so when the security engineer or someone pushes back on why this security issue is and and why they cannot launch in production due to xyz risk then you have you have like you know better understanding on on what they are talking about uh the best part is you can also integrate with the ci cd so github actions for example uh it also allows you to integrate with it so you don't need to run it manually every time it's just part of your CI CD and like you know this is also good for the DevOps or DevSecOps as well. Now uh, there are some questions around uh, like you know from the security community side so so far we have discussed all the points all the benefits which is going to benefit to the developers however some some security engineer or security guardian would come up and say we have, our enterprise have like you know 10 plus applications I want to monitor everything how do I do that so they have an enterprise version coming up soon uh, so if they are interested they can they can like you know look at it uh, that way but currently I think as long as the developer adopts this platform and and, and use it um, maybe like you know uh, that will that will be a huge help for the security community as well now let's go back to our postman and see how far we have got in terms of the test okay so it seems like the test is completed uh, the, here it will tell you every response time uh, and you can see and the scan was completed within 27 seconds that's that's a really great great number uh, if you're if you're running the test right uh, here it will tell you all the details like all tests which are passed and failed uh, you can see what are the issues uh, found obviously like you know red are the ones here you can see pass and fail test cases uh, anything that is skipped was not able to like you know test by pin you can also see here now we can also click on view summary uh, it will also show you the same thing uh, however the way I would like to see the report is you can just go to this show report right and then click on send uh, here you will see all the report however this is again not easy to look at but you can click on visualize and here you can see what was the uh, what was the endpoint which was tested uh, what's the summary uh, pass failed here you can see detailed findings so for example here broker user authentication ignore authentication token 
here there are some security warning uh, that cache control header was missing this is also uh, pretty good in terms of like you know see and when you click here it will tell you what are the endpoints which was affected as well so that way this is uh, I see like you know this is uh, pretty easy to manage uh, uh, tool and and very very uh, lightweight uh, uh, for instance so like you know I, I I can see this we, we can use it on a day-to-day -day basis just when like you know you're making any API changes just try to run this tool for like 15 20 seconds and see if there is any issue you will feel more confident uh, that's that's the main thing you will feel man much more confident when you submit this code uh, for a peer review or for the pen test and you can see that obvious like you know obvious issues are not gonna come up uh, given you have already uh, like you know did your lessons so uh, i think yeah that's uh, that's all i wanted to touch base uh, i have put like you know link in the descriptions to check out like you know how do you set it up and also uh, registration and everything so you can use it community version is again totally free so you don't need to do any sign up or anything uh, so feel free to go through all the comment section and, and re uh, read through the description and and links uh, if you have any other questions feel free to drop it in the comment section I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible uh, if you have any other questions on any other uh, our, our tutorial as well uh, feel free to reach out to me as well I'll try my best of course it's been crazy ever since I came back but yeah I'll, I'll try my best to be uh, be able to review everything uh, uh, so thank you again uh, for your support and I'll, I'll see you next Monday bye this is where you will see the report uh, once the scan is complete of course uh, this is not possible for us to digest the results so we'll go to the visualize and here you will see a uh, better like you know a formatted report so we'll start uh, with the first one so here it will show you the scan id so of course the scan that you ran so you can of course if you have like multiple scans you can provide multiple ids and you can st uh, see the report then you have your api security test so how many got the errors how many warnings passed did not run any failures uh, your functional test collection uh, if you have anything uh, then diagnostic it says functional had assertion that failed fixing this assertion will improve the security test so that means you will have to if you want to improve your security test probably you need to make this adjustment here it's going to show you all the endpoints which is great so you can see if uh, which endpoint has like you know usually what I try to do is uh, if there is a particular endpoint which has the highest number of uh, vulnerability let's just fix that endpoint which will take care of like a you know, majority of the majority of the uh, findings so uh, rather than going like you know uh, one finding here one finding there if you fix this one search uh, I think we're gonna get rid of like five five security issues so uh, and also you can just make sure like if any of the API's or endpoints which is left out then uh, comes the detail part so here you can see uh, detail error or findings so here you can see no signature validation in JWT uh, how do you fix it uh, then unsigned JWT so likewise if you keep going it will show you all the failed and warning and then lastly it will uh, show you the past one uh, you can also uh, expand this and see like what's the message so for example resource limiting it says we tested the system and for limit on the amount of resources returning the responses so it will also tell you what kind of uh, test they have run uh, when the when the report is passed and finally the functional test by the endpoints so here you will see all that results as well so the report is pretty uh, like you know uh, formatted and, and uh, you can actually also share uh, with the developers uh, if like you know if you are the security engineer who are running this scan um, it's pretty much aligned with all the other uh, heavily paid security scanners so uh, I wouldn't mind that uh, so yeah, uh, check this out. Uh, let me know uh, what you think and, and if you have any feedback, uh, uh, feel free to provide that as well. I think uh, any other tools that you have used which is open source and does the API secure testing, uh, let me know and we can also do a comparison video kind of thing. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, please do that and, and please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Thank you all and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.